So let's go right now and make our first adjustment and that's going to be to this uh, input uh, field. So I'm going to click on it and as I get to it I'm just going to go and change the text style to um, italic and as I change it you can see the changes reflected right here and also I want to make sure that the maximum length is going to be one and that's because I just want to have uh, only one letter uh, input at a time because the user should uh, guess uh, my word only uh, by typing in one letter and so I'm not permitting the user to type in more than one letter at a time by specifying this attribute right here and also I want to make sure that this um, um, tries left uh, text view is gonna be bold so that we can see it better so I'm gonna type in text style bold and you can see the changes uh, applied and after that I just want to make sure that this uh, reset button that you can see right here it will be expanded uh, just um, to uh, take as much space as possible from this uh, table row and I'm gonna zoom out and show you how we can do this so in this button I'm just gonna go and specify the layout height and so the height is gonna be match parent because it's just gonna go and uh, extend as much as possible so right now it takes uh, as much space as it can and we also have to specify the width to be the same and for the width we're just gonna use uh, the weight so if you specify the width to be match parent it's probably not gonna work so that's why I'm just gonna type in layout weight and I'm specifying that I want it to be expanded as much as possible um, in order to make sure that we get uh, all the space from this uh, um, row so that's why I'm setting it up to one and uh, as you can see right now we have it uh, set up correctly and so this is how our application is gonna look like